Welcome back to Secondhand Overland. I'm your host, Matt Kester. And today we're reviewing, well, this little guy right here. This is the GMRS V2 from the folks at BTEC. Now, BTEC is an American company based out of South Dakota that uh, takes Baofeng radios, essentially, and makes them compliant for the United States market. And this little guy right here is, well, it's based on a different uh, dual band radio that they have, but um, it's actually kind of impressive for what you get at the price point. You see, this radio here actually has 200 channels of variable storage, be that repeaters with extra tones or uh, UHF or VHF channels that you wanna scan. There's 200 memory slots in here. The only other radio that I know of kind of at this price point with more than just a few repeater spots or actually with anything extra uh, would be either a UV5R or the GM30 from Radioddity. You're getting quite a lot of features for the price in this radio. And let's run that down real quick. When you open the box, you get all of the usual suspects. I mean, there's the radio itself, a charger, a wrist leash, a belt clip that is, uh, well, it's it appears to be some sort of metal where it attaches to the radio, but uh, it is plastic in and of itself. And, uh, well, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, you do get a high capacity lithium ion battery with it. It is going to be uh, an 1800 milliamp hour battery. Don't know if you can see that. So not the biggest battery in the world, but uh, we have used it and it has done very well as far as uh, just casual usage during the day. One thing I appreciate about this is that unlike other versions of radios, the belt clip actually goes on the back of the radio itself and not into the battery. Some other features, uh, on high power it's 5 watt, on low power it's 0.5 watt supposedly. I have not been able to test it, I don't have my tester up here with me in Montana, but uh, other experts have tested it. It is PC programmable and it is programmable through Chirp, which is kind of a big deal, especially if you're keeping all of your files within Chirp, uh, it's a lot easier to do. There is a broadcast FM receiver built in as well, so you can listen to the radio. You've got the flashlight on the top. One thing that I really found interesting about this is that like, unlike other radios, the NOAA channels, instead of having to go into a complete other mode to listen to a NOAA channel, it's actually saved in a repeater slot in the high, I think it's the, the higher end, all the way up to 200. So you don't have to necessarily put it into NOAA mode and take it out of NOAA mode, which also means because it's a dual monitoring radio, you can listen to whatever you want to listen to, plus have NOAA going at the same time. So you're not going to miss if somebody calls you while you're listening to the weather. It does come with a very nice manual, courtesy of the folks at BTEC, uh, very well written and put together, unlike other radios in this space. Now, one thing I did note on this that I really didn't care for is that VFO mode is, uh, well, it's, you gotta turn the radio off, then hold down the menu button and then turn the radio on to get it to go into VFO mode. And then from VFO mode, you can program it, but then you gotta turn it back off to get it back into normal mode, which just seems like a whole hell of a lot of work. Yesterday, I did take it out with Lawrence, try to do some range testing for you. Um, we got to about 10 miles and just kind of gave up. Uh, I'm here in Montana, we're in a valley. Um, line of sight's not too bad, so we've been able, we've been able to go quite a big distance with it. Um, and, you know, that's been helpful. All right, so I'm about 10 miles away. I'm just on the side of the road here. We're gonna try Lawrence, get outside of the cab to see. Come again. That was a little unclear. Said, uh, you got to copy 10 miles at high power. Copy 10 miles high power. That was clear. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to low power. Just give me one second. All right, Lawrence. 10 miles at low power. Low power, 10 miles. Can you copy? Copy loud and clear. 10 miles. Low power. Sounds great. That is crazy. Let me step up here, see if I can get some elevation on the back of the rover and see if that helps. All right, try it now. Can you hear me? You got a copy. 10 miles. Oh, yeah. I can hear you clear as a bell, Lawrence. 
So that's 10 miles in simplex on this radio, and I'm even using local. Another thing I like about it is the push to talk button is actually a rocker switch. So you can go ahead and uh, use the same push to talk button and switch independently of the two channels that you're working on if you're on the dual version of it, which is very, very cool. It doesn't feel all that bad in your hand either. Um, you can tell it's not the highest build quality, but it's also not stupid cheap and it's exactly what you would kind of expect at this price point. One other, one, one notable shortcoming to the radio itself is that there is no USB-C charging, um, which gives the advantage in that department if you're looking for a hiking radio to something like the Radiati GM30. Um, that's a feature that I think they should have incorporated in this iteration. Uh, maybe they'll have a battery hack for it later or something, but uh, that's something to be aware of. See how well it does on a repeater. See if we can get anybody. The sun's setting here, so let's see what we can get. WRKX 996, repeater check. We hit one. As we were out doing our testing yesterday, we actually had somebody come back and uh, I had a conversation with him and he actually gave me the repeater and frequencies and tones for this area for the open repeaters which is very cool because none of them are listed on my gmrs i thought we were in a repeater desert let's try another one wrkx996 repeater check i'm oh we almost got something back they're they're kerchunking it back at least so we they're kerchunking it back so at least we know that they're there there's the identifier tone, so I'm able to reach out and touch a repeater. I have no idea where these repeaters actually are in relation to me. Um, I try to explain it, but uh, obviously I don't have the access to something like my GMRS to get them on the map. But as you can see, it's working. All in all, not a bad little radio. I haven't had as much time to use it as I... I don't know what he said. WRKX 996, I'm copying it. It's not making a trip here. I don't know why not. I got you crystal clear around my end. You're probably broadcasting it. That makes a big difference, right? <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> 